I'm about to tour the Hawaii State Capitol. <laughs> and in this video, I'm gonna show you the outside and then the inside of the Hawaii State Capitol. So, I'm gonna show you what it looks like from here. I just came from the parking garage and I'm gonna to have to cross the street and we'll go from there. The first thing that I wanna point out about the capital city itself is there's about 325,000 residents um, in the in this capital city and I find that interesting because um, That's pretty large It's a lot of people in the city which means that it's really capital or it's really um, It's a high density population The other thing that I like to point out or observation that I made about this city in particular is there are a lot of high-rises and so a high-rise by example a well, high-rise is just any building that's over 100 meters or about 328 feet or um, a building that has 30 or more stories and there's a lot of them in the city another observation I've made since I've been in the city which is about for about three days now is that there is a very high number of senior but active residents at least that's what it seems like I'm walking around the city and I see a lot of people who are way into their uh, 60s, but they're pretty active because they're walking around just like someone who's younger. Um, there's also a very high population of Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders in the city. So I found that kind of interesting. And then um, the other observation or the last observation that I'll talk about is the traffic. So. I can understand why it seems like tourists or uh, the residents of the city don't want a bunch of tourists here because it's probably only contributing to all the traffic that is in this city. If you come and try to drive on this, drive on the interstate in this city during the day, um, you'll definitely find that it's difficult to drive without getting into any type of traffic. So those are my observations, and now I'm about to do a quick walk around the Capitol. So let's go ahead and look outside the Capitol grounds. The first thing that actually struck me as um, interesting or odd <laughs> is that um, right beyond this tree, right, there's a parking garage under this, and right beyond that tree is a shanty town of what appears to be homeless folks. So right outside the Capitol. So I found that interesting. And if you notice, the Capitol appears to be um, to be all outside. And now I'm gonna jaywalk across the street <laughs> so I can get in into another part of the uh, to another part of the Capitol. <laughs> so I'm gonna do a quick walk around the Capitol grounds and see what I see. As you can see, there is the Liberty Bell. That's one of the things that I talk about in other Capitol visits. There were 55 of those bells that were created by the, um, by the Treasury. And most, if not all, the Capitals have a Liberty Bell replica outside on their, in their Capitol grounds. As far as the Capitol grounds go themselves, <laughs> they don't look very landscaped. I mean, maybe they just did it and the grass just grows faster in this area than any other area, but it's not very landscaped. Or rather, it needs um, a good trimming. But maybe they come every two weeks, who knows. But that's the building from the outside. So this is what I mean. There's a, what seems to be a homeless population right on the, the grounds of the Capitol itself. Now, what I did read before coming here is that at least the governor's agenda is to try to take care of uh, the, the homeless population here in Hawaii. 
And anytime you're trying to take care of the homeless population, that is a, <laughs> a very um, ambitious project. But not only in this area, not only have I seen homeless in this area, I've seen the homeless walking even in Waikiki while I'm walking down the street and they're just sleeping on the roads. Um, but obviously this isn't the only place that I've been to where I've seen something like that. I've been to many capitals and there's a huge population of homeless in many of the capital cities that I have visited. Okay, so now I'm on the opposite side of the front entrance. I walked around the Capitol grounds and I'm gonna go ahead and head in. There's a statue here. But I'm gonna go ahead and head into the building and see what we find. Apparently there is no rotunda in this capital, which is different than a lot of capitals. Well, there is a rotunda, but it's not architecturally a rotunda. It's just open. So if it's raining, the rain's coming in or any other element. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so Hawaii State Capitol is different in that the House and the Senate chambers are locked and according to the security guard, there is no access whatsoever for anyone. Um, so I'm about to talk to the Sergeant of Arms and see if he can make an exception for me. I'll let him know that I'm from out of town and I'm a veteran and I make videos and let's see what happens. Yay! So I just explain my situation to a young lady named Park in the Sergeant of Arms office and she said that she would be happy to open the Senate and the House chamber doors for me so um, unfortunately there's no one in the office with her right now so she said that I should come back and she said once I come back she'll have time to walk me through the chambers. Okay, so right now I'm going to the public access room and the public access room is where they have the brochures. This trip seems to be a giant fail. Even the Lieutenant Governor's office is closed, so no luck there. I'm gonna go up to the Governor's office and see what luck I have there.
All right, so I made it to the fifth floor of the Capitol. And as you can see, it provides a <laughs> it provides a great view of the skyline. And like I said earlier, look at all these high rises in the city. It's actually pretty crazy when you think about it. And now let's walk to the other side of this level and see the view from there. Okay, so this is the fifth floor. And if you look, because, <laughs> because the place is pretty freaking open, uh, there's no need to walk around all the other levels. There's five floors and all the doors that you see are offices of legislators. Now, because they are not in session, then no one's here. So it doesn't make sense to go to the different levels. So what I'm gonna do right now is try to go back down to the, to the first level and talk to Miss Park and see if I can get access to the chambers. Wish me luck. Yay, I made it in the Senate chamber. So we're going to take a look around. And one thing I was just told is that we have a lot of donations for the folks in Maui. And so that's what these packages are. Normally these packages would not be in the public chamber, but those packages are being um, pre prepared and getting ready be shipped off so this is the Senate chamber and Hawaii has 25 senators and you'll see 24 desk because the Senate president sits in front you will also see that they have this chandelier here and this chandelier is made of nautilus shells you see this okay so i learned something the senate sergeant of arms and the house sergeant of arms are two different people and the senate and house is governed differently and so although i had permission from the senate house of arms to see the senate chamber i had to get separate permission from the house sergeant of arms i just asked and I was granted permission. So I'm waiting on her now and she's gonna open up the chambers and allow me to take a peek in there so I can show it to you all. You I did, thank you, you so much. See, you got to see the Senate and then now you're gonna see the house. Now I appreciate it. Well, okay, you, you, I'm sure she mentioned it already that we, because we're in camera. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, the lights. No, okay. it's not on. That's fine. At least you can 
No, this is fine. Oh, turned it on. oh yeah, the lights are on. No, this is plenty. No, this is this is fine. Just the regular. It looks really nice when the. You know what? I'm gonna. Okay, thank you. Okay, would you stay right where you yes, ma'am. Staying right here. And yay, <laughs> yay! So I made it into the house chamber now, and um, we're gonna get the lights turned on so I can get a better view of the chamber. <laughs> okay, so um, before I leave this room, the last thing I want to say is there are 51 representatives in the House of um, Representatives for the state of Hawaii. And behind me, you will see their chandelier, which represents the sun. And um, the chandelier that we've seen in the Senate chamber represents the moon. So there's a lot of symbolism within the Capitol. And another thing that I learned is the symbol eight is um, hidden throughout the capital as well because eight is the number that represents the number of major islands in the state of Hawaii. All right, so mission complete. I toured the house chamber, I toured the Senate chamber, and I toured the inside and the outside of the Hawaii State Capitol. The last thing that I would say, because I didn't say it before, is Hawaii became a state in 1951 and they had this capital a couple of years later what 10 years later in 1969 that's what the brochure says and excuse all the noise out here because again this is a capital that is outside for the most part um, or at least letting in the elements but also as you've seen they work inside so that's that i'm going to go ahead and take my rotunda picture and head to the airport and get on the airplane to head back to the state of Georgia. Thanks for watching and remember, be safe and go travel. You have everywhere to go see.